I was born in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Lived there till I was six, and then I moved to Trucksville, which was a great place to grow up. I was an exchange student when I was 17, after I graduated from high school. And I went to Holland because I knew I could get to other places and because of Vincent van Gogh and all the other great Rembrandt, great artists, Dutch artists. And I went to art school there. And before I left to go to Holland as an exchange student, I was accepted at Moore College of Art and Design. I was delighted when I got accepted to Moore. I just, I loved the college and it was just coming from, coming from a little town into a little college in this big city was just like perfect for me. In the summer of my going into my sophomore year, I got a job at the New York's New York City YWCA New York City um, Art Camp in the Catskills. So we were taking all these poor children from the inner city of New York into the Catskills, and there I was teaching them art, and just fell in love with it. It really just became that was it. I came back. And my mentor at Moore, his name was George Sklar, who was this big, gruff man. He said, you'll be a great art teacher. You need to do that. So, and it was, he was right. Um, so I, I found early on, like, my passion, and it was because of that experience. My first job out of college was teaching in North Philadelphia, and I taught there for 10 years. I can teach anywhere in the world. You know, it was a really wonderful experience, and I liked it, and I learned a lot, and it was an adjustment from this, for this kid from Trucksville, a uh, whole different culture, and just kind of being open to what they can teach me. I also learned how important it was for them to be in a place that they felt safe, and the art room was a place that they could succeed. I remember... Um, the first time one of my students won an art competition. It was like so exciting. I just didn't think it was, would ever happen. Never was one to do color wheels or value scales. I tell my students that now, you know. You can teach the color wheel by having them paint a jungle like Rousseau and give them the colors they need, like, so shall we say, uh, blue and yellow, and they'll, feel they'll learn. So there's different ways to get around that. We got no schooling or help for teaching children special needs. So it was just kind of trial and error. And then when I went to Lesh after teaching 10 years in North Philadelphia and I went to Lesh, we were told we were going to have a severely and profoundly impaired class come to the school. It's like the special needs children that the severely and profoundly impaired like getting a reaction, putting their hand on sandpaper and have them pull it back, that little tiny reaction was, wow, look, we got a reaction. You know, this is great stuff. So kind of knowing that these just little tiny steps, really. Everything that I did and was informed my, my teaching at Moore, my being at Moore. I think the course that I created in 1996 probably was the first one of its kind. Most of the classes now on special needs are all theory. We have the children that come, and we work with them, and my students work with them. They go in so timidly in the beginning, and then they realize, oh, these children don't bite, you know? So the fundamentals of the course really is learning to look at each child as an individual and respond to that child. To having the children be exposed to art and artists from around the world, learning how much we are alike, not how much we are unalike, is just very valuable in our humanness and our getting along together and learning about each other. That it's just it's such a valuable, valuable tool to make this world work. I've done a lot of art that is very expressive in that I think of some kind of a situation, something in my life, and how do I deal with that? My way of working is just putting it down the canvas. And I usually do multiple canvases at one time. And I feel very blessed in that when my emotions 
where, where they're at the top or the bottom, they go the gamut, you know, that I had, had the wherewithal to express them through my art. I can't express well enough how wonderful it is to be, come almost, to, no, to come full circle, to have started out as an undergrad in art education. And I thought it was really great teaching in the department and now chairing the department and now working on a grad program. It's called a master's in art education with an emphasis in special needs. This, we can't find anything like it in the country. Um, it is not an art therapy course. My hope is that our candidates are going to be so bright and so creative. I'm putting this on film. So creative that they will make an impact on how children with disabilities are taught through the arts. Getting the Distinguished Alumni Award uh, means a lot to me. I'm very honored to be in the company of such excellent women. And I uh, distinctly remember Happy Fernandez um, introducing me when I won the award and saying that when she read my resume, on the bottom of my resume were all the lists of my students, my little kids' achievements. And she just thought that was kind of remarkable that was on my resume. As an art teacher, I am what my students do. You know, so when they excel, then I excel. So it was kind of a natural progression. So I'm immersed in this wonderful oasis of all of this creativity and intellect. It's small, it's still small, it's still wonderful. You put into that college whatever you want to put into it and you get it back fourfold. So, um, great place to be. I think that when we really delve into the disability that a child has, and we use art with that child to teach writing or reading. Wow, I think doors can open up to that child. And I think we're, I think we're at a place right now that we're going to be able to do that, to change the world.